Hi there, it's Ms. Novakowski, and I'm coming to you today from the studio at Grower Elementary in the Richmond School District. And today's project is a simple origami paper cup. So all you need is one piece of square paper. Again, it could be any size. If it's larger, it will make a larger cup. And if it's smaller, it will make a little cup, right? And then you might also want something to uh, smooth down your creases and your folds with, but you can also just use your fingers for that. Okay, to make the paper cup, you start with a square piece of paper, and I'm just gonna rotate it here so the I've got a corner pointing up, and then I'm gonna fold it in half across the diagonal. So I'm gonna start with a square, and I'm gonna fold it into a large triangle. When I open that up, I see my fold line, and I see two large triangles there. And that fold line creates a line of symmetry. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take my top here and just one layer, whoops, one layer, and I'm gonna fold it down to this fold line. So I'm gonna meet that point to the fold line and then hold that with my finger and then use my other hand to crease that there. And again, I can go over that and make sure it's nice and flat. So when I open that up, I have just a fold line. Again, I've just folded down one side, and then I'm going to use that point on the side of the triangle where the fold line intersects with the outer side there, okay? And I'm gonna take this bottom corner here, I'm gonna fold it up to meet that point. Again, hold it with one finger and then use my other fingers to crease down that fold. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other sides. But let's look at this shape here. That's kind of an interesting shape. What does that remind you of? It kind of looks like a whale or a fish or something to me. It has one, two, three, four sides. So it's a quadrilateral, but it's an irregular quadrilateral because they're all different lengths. All right, so now, um, to finish my cup, I'm going to take out this corner from this side and fold it up to meet this point here. Again, you might have to sort of use your finger to sort of help that go. Bring it right to the point again, hold it with this finger, and then use my other fingers to smooth this side down. And you'll notice that there's that little triangle that's being created right there. Oh, I'm just noticing that my finger is bleeding a little bit because I've been washing my hands so much. All right, so there's the first part of our cup, and we've created now, what polygon have we created? One, two, three, four, five sided, so it is a pentagon. Now I'm gonna take the top layer here and fold it down over the, that fold, and then I'm gonna flip it over and go to the top again and just Pull it down until those edges line up, and then again use my fingers. So let's look at this shape here again. One, two, three, four sided. It's a quadrilateral. This is what we would call a trapezoid because it has two parallel sides. Okay? But these sides are not parallel. And then we've got this triangle that's flapping down over it. And then flip it back, and there's our cup. And again, we can open it up. We put our fingers in and then our cup could hold things. It could actually hold water for a little while if you wanted to use it as a drinking cup. So let's think about the capacity of this cup. How much do you think that cup will hold? I've got some dice here. Let's estimate. I'll put one in to help us. We can use that as a referent. So about how many more do you think I could get in there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I probably have space for maybe seven, eight, nine. Maybe this would hold nine dice, just maybe overflowing a little bit. But there's the capacity of this cup is nine dice. When I look at this smaller cup that I made, how many dice do you think that will hold? What will that capacity be? Let's estimate, I'm gonna estimate, ooh, I'm gonna estimate three. Let's try one, 
two, oh, maybe three. Yep, just three. Okay, what other estimates can we make here in terms of the capacity of these? I have my little candy basket here. I have some of these toffees. How many toffees do you think this cup will hold? One, two, three, four. I think five is about all that one can hold. And then what do you think? This little one will hold. Do you think it will even hold one? I think I can get one in there. Maybe two, but it's both kind of sticking out. So you can play with this and think about the capacity. How many dimes might this hold? Or how many, if you have sunflower seeds or something small like that that you could count and measure. Think about the capacity of your cups. So I'm gonna test this cup to see how much water it will hold. So I had this empty jam jar and it had 125 milliliters of jam in it. So that was its volume of jam that it held. And so I've put in about that much water. The jam doesn't go right up to the top. It's usually about you know that far. And I'm gonna see about how much of this I can hold in my cup. What do you think? You think I'll be able to get it all in? Or maybe about 100? And then how long will it last in the paper cup? I would think I'd have to drink it pretty quickly, but let's see. Oh, almost all of it. And it's just starting to leak a bit, but it does hold water. If I needed to have a quick drink of water, I could make a paper cup like this.